that he did, that he promised, is to keep Formula One in Sochi. And so that's what they call the Putin's victory. And by the way, there is a website on the internet where you can find all the promises of Putin since 2002-2003. And you can see what's actually done and what's not. And the most surprising thing is that the amount of done and not done is pretty much even. But what's not done are the most important and fundamental things that should do any government like the standards of living, social security, medical care, etc. And what's done? Things like Formula One in Sochi, feeding the animal in the zoo, and all kind of stuff like that. So that's not serious at all. So uh, Medvedev said that they managed to keep the unemployment level low. He agreed to be the head of the list for the United Russia Party for the upcoming elections. They wrote a 100 pages program, which of course no one will read because it's all bullshit. That's what they promised long time ago and will never do. And the name of the program is Success of Everyone is the Success of Russia. Interesting, who are they referring to by the word everyone? Maybe oligarchs like Rosenberg, Timchenko and others. Because they don't think about us, that's for sure. The other quote from the program is, we hear people so we can do what they can do again. Crap in their pants as usual, nothing more. Or they can steal even more money, that's true. And they always write this formula, we hear people, we always hear people. For how long they're hearing people? I think at least like seven or eight years, but they do nothing. Okay, uh, I'm reminding you what the ruling party promised us uh, in these years, just in case someone forgot. Okay, the year or three or four, the upgrade program of energy complex, mass building of individual housing, development of new transport network of Russia, Technological revolution in agriculture, and that's no jokes. That's what so-called battle clowns of Putin came up with. The next rapid revenue growth of all categories of citizens. Laugh out loud, guys. In the year 04, every citizen will pay twice less for the heat and electricity. Now we're paying how much? Uh, I think four times more. The year 05, every citizen will get his share in the national natural wealth. Everyone will work accordingly to his occupation. The year 08, every family will have its own comfortable housing worthy of 21st century independently of income level. Uh, Chechnya and Northern Caucasus will become a tourist and cultural mecca for all Russia. Yeah, it became a mecca, but not for tourists. Okay, uh, the year 2010, uh, there will be built traffic artery from St. Petersburg to Anadir, from Tokyo to Vladivostok, to Brest and others. And this just sounds like a fairy tales. Uh, in 2017, Russia will be the leader of world politics and economics. So that's in what half a year, gentlemen. Get ready. It's very soon. Okay, 2010. There will be no traffic jams at all, and every car will have its parking space. GDP will be doubled, tripled, and even ten times more than now. By 2010, the lineup for housing for soldiers will be finished. Uh, I don't want to read this crap anymore. Huh? Yeah, and by the 2010, 70% of all pupils will be taught in modern conditions. <sighs> what can I say? Medvedev recommended to include in the list for elections Vyacheslav Volodin, who is the first deputy head of the presidential administration. And he thinks that he will beat them all. Well, he listens that we say here, but he didn't understand everything we said. I have no idea whether Volodin thought this through from the very beginning or he was forced to do so. Only time will show. 
From one hand, it is not profitable at all for Volodin to be on the list of United Russia for elections, because he doesn't not want to be part of all this bullshit the ruling party is making. From the other hand, if Medvedev knew how to substitute Volodin, he would have put him on second place on the list, right after himself. And that would have been a hard hit for Volodin. In another scenario, Medvedev asks Putin to make Volodin responsible for elections as the deputy head of presidential administration. And in this case, Volodin cannot wriggle out. But Medvedev does the other thing. He puts Volodin responsible for elections for Privolsky Federal District, the home place of Volodin, where he started his career. And what will happen? Well, I can tell. Volodin will make 99% of voting bulletin for United Russia, and all other districts will show less than 50. If talking seriously, Volodin will make the way so his district will give 70% for ruling party United Russia, and other districts will show only half, let's say 35. So this way, Volodin will annoy Medvedev very well. And after elections, the results will be shown to Putin and the difference will be great between Volodin's districts and others. And what will happen next? Well, I think the decision will be expected.